Hi, and welcome back to What's New with Oliver. Oh, okay, thank you. Sit down. <laughs> Very excited tonight. Sit down. Sit down. Oh, now Sam's excited too. Sit down, boys. Okay, let's sit down and we're going to talk about these books. Maybe, maybe. Okay. Okay, you come over here and sit down. Sam, what you doing? All right, let's get started. That was that was crazy. Okay, let's start. Okay, we're going to talk about our new books that we received this week in the library. The first one is How to Change the World in 12 Easy Steps. Sit down. And this is by Peggy Porter Tierney. And we really liked this book because it talks about ideas of how to make the world better. Like on this one, it talks about meeting new people. We love to meet new people, don't we, Oliver? And another one is uh, never give up on your dreams. This little boy dreamed of being a vet and look what he grew up to be, a vet. And that's what helps our doggy stay healthy, isn't it, Oliver? So how to change the world in 12 easy steps. The next one is Faju Singh keeps going. And this is about the oldest man, my, my light's making a glare, but there we go, to um, ever to run a marathon. And he was slow to learn how to walk whenever he was a child, but he um, just started walking and he grew up and he got married and had children. And then when his children moved away, he was bored and lonely. And so he decided to run and he would run and run and run everywhere. And then he became the oldest person at 110 years old to run a marathon. And this is a, a it is a picture book about a true story. So super fun story, wasn't it, Oliver? Hello, wasn't it? And then there's this one, A Garden in Your Belly by Mosh, Masha DeYans. And this story is pretty fun because it talks about um, all the microbes and bacteria that live in the world around us and in our body. And that sounds really weird to think there's bacteria inside, but there's good bacteria too. And the art in this book is amazing. And I just uh, earmarked a couple of pages that Oliver really liked because look how beautiful that is. And what a fun idea to talk about what happens inside of our bodies and what they all do, what their different roles are. So really some fun watercolor pictures. We liked that one, didn't we, Oliver? Didn't we? Yes, we liked this book a lot too. Then our next one is I'm Trying to Love Garbage by Bethany Barton. And this one is kind of interesting because it's all about where our garbage goes, what happens with our garbage, and something we really don't think about. Sometimes we think about how the garbage is picked up at our house or the trash people or something like that. But it also talks about animals that help us with our garbage and they collect garbage as well. So if you've ever seen a bird or a squirrel maybe uh, carrying off uh, maybe a gum wrapper or um, a bag to a fast food place, they're taking those and making their homes out of that uh, garbage or that trash. And then there's others, the bugs and birds that eat our garbage. So really interesting book about things we just don't think about, do we? No, we don't think about them at all. So, I'm trying to love garbage. And then our last one is by Sonia Satamora that is Just Help. And I probably said her name wrong. Sonia Sotomayor. How to build a better world. And this follows the story of her life. And each day when her mother would ask, how will you help today? and she would try to think of good ways to help others. And what's covered in this book is how she recycled, she uh, led a food drive, she created care packages, 
she talked about voting and then she even had toy and clothes donation drives all while she was little and so her goal was is every day before she goes to bed or when she wakes up in the morning to think about how will you help today we really liked that one didn't we we really liked that one and i forgot our voting card but i think i have it here oliver voted and rated these books five friends and there's our five friends and if you saw earlier our friend sam is in this picture isn't he five friends and these books are available to check out in the library and if they're not there you can always use the catalog and put them on hold and somebody's been really good and i have a special treat for that sup buddy special oliver has his own jar of peanut butter and I'm going to give him a little treat. Oh, see, so he's happy. He's a happy boy. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time when we get more books. Oh, we're excited. Oh, and somebody's going to come see us and say goodbye as well. Hello, Sam. Hello, Sam. Bye-bye.